Welcome! In this video, I will run through the Quick Start tutorial for Apache Druid 24. If you've done the Quick Start in the past or have Druid already set up, I suggest you still stick around for this video as the Quick Start in Druid 24 has completely revamped to use MSQ and SQL based ingestion. In any case, this video should be short and sweet, so let's get to it. The first step is to download Druid. So you can go and do that from the Apache mirrors. And I already did that. As you can see, I have Druid right here. After you download Druid, uh, you need to extract it with tar. So let's do it right now. And then CD into the directory that you just created. In this directory, you'll find all of the files for Druid and specifically in the bin folder are all the executables that you might uh, want to run. And in fact, there is an executable for specifically designed for a small cluster that you're testing out on your laptop. It's called start micro quick start. And we're going to be using that as part of this tutorial. So there we go. We can see the services getting all started. And it's printing out a nice message telling you to go to localhost 8888 to see the built-in web console. If after running this command, uh, you do not see this, uh, the most likely thing that happens is that you will get an error message saying you don't have Java. Druid requires either, either Java 8 or Java 11 to be installed on your system. And if you see that message, you should go and install Java 11 and then rerun this step. My personal favorite is the uh, OpenJDK, but you're welcome to choose your own distribution of Java. Anyhow, once you get this to show up, you can go to open your browser and go to localhost 8888, and you will see the web console. So here I see that I have nothing be running because I just started the cluster and I have Druid 24. Let's go to the query tab and let's do some queries. So to do the quick start ingestion, we click connect external data and select local because we're going to be using a data set that actually ships with Druid. Following the quick start, we're going to enter quick start tutorial as our base directory. Notice that there is no slash here because we're doing it relative to the Druid distribution. And for the file that we're going to select from there, we're going to enter wikiticker 2015-09-12 sampled. Let's click connect. Druid will now go out and sample this file and detect what schema it has and what format it has. So in this case, it's a JSON file. And then Druid will automatically seed a SQL query that would represent an ingestion of this file. You can click preview and get a preview of what this query would look like, what this data will, what shape this data will have once it's ingested. And uh, right here, you can see the progress bar showing you how long this current query is taking. It's gonna go out, start a task, sample this file, and then give you a visual preview of what this query looks like. And in general, uh, you are free to modify this query however you want, add transformations. This is really here just to get you started. So this is what data will my shape. Uh, this is what the shape of my data will look like. Uh, you can see I have a uh, timestamp column that was correctly parsed. And this looks good. I'm going to ingest it, but I'm going to do one change. I'm going to change the data source that it's going to write out to be Wikipedia. Great. Now that I've changed that, I can click run. And soon enough, it will start the ingestion for me. Right now we're waiting for the task to start. And once the task has started, you get this view, which actually shows you the report of the task and shows you how long it's gonna take and the different stages. That is all part of the multi-stage architecture that is now built into Druid on which the SQL-based ingestion is built upon. 
you can see the, the data going through all the stages. This is a very, very simple query. And once that is done, um, it shows you this confirmation saying that you have ingested this data correctly. At this point, you can say, uh, you can click here to open a new tab and actually run that query uh, directly on top of uh, this newly ingested data set. That's it for the quick start. Uh, where do you go from here? Well, if you click Connect External Data, there's a bunch of example data sets you can play around with, including ones that have nested data, which is now supported natively in Druid 24. And you can also click this dot, dot, dot right here on the Run panel and load this demo queries. Notice that this will replace all of your existing tabs. But if you do that, you'll get some demo queries that walk you through the different features of this new SQL-based engine. Thank you for watching.